biggest uh, challenge right now and I think that if we make a, a big enough of a ruckus we might be able to get away with it so thank you for all coming out and spending your night with us and sharing in your support and you know, hopefully this will be a good one for us <laughs> um, my name is uh, Greg Kalowski and I'm a medical cannabis activist here in the state of New Hampshire I belong to a, a couple of organizations one is uh, Americans for Safe Access which has members uh, spread out throughout the country. It's a very large medical marijuana advocacy group. And uh, along with myself and Kirk McNeil, the executive director of New Hampshire Normal or Compassion and Common Sense, uh, we've been working with Americans for Safe Access on certain things for, uh, for this medical marijuana bill. And Jennifer, uh, the executive director of Americans for Safe Access has prepared a brief statement. I'd like to read that out at this time. On behalf of Americans for Safe Access members throughout New Hampshire, I would like to thank you all for coming and showing your support for safe legal access to medical cannabis for sick patients here in your state. In particular, thanks to Greg Pulaski and Kirk McNeil from NH Compassion, as well as Matt Simon from the Marijuana Policy Project and everyone else who has been leading this effort. Additionally, many thanks to Senator Forsyth for sponsoring this bill. Anyway, my electricity just went dead, and uh, unfortunately I can't remember what the heck you said later, but uh, anyway, it was very good. Uh, on behalf of myself, I've been working with Jennifer and the Student for Sensible Drug Policy in New Hampshire for about seven months now on various bills, and hearing Jennifer speak at the testimonies over the past couple months, and seeing her leadership and that Student for Sensible Drug Policy wanted to take on this candlelight vigil, shows a lot of uh, a lot of maturity and a lot of compassion and I am absolutely awestruck in every time that we have communication um, you know, we worked it really well on the industrial hemp bill which got killed but this medical marijuana bill I know is incredibly important for sensible students for uh, students for central drug policy because as young adults and with minor siblings they see parents, loved ones, adults and friends who are broken but are not down and out. They are hurt but they can heal. Medical marijuana is that alternative medicine that allows this to happen. Their kids see it, the students see it. I am so proud and so honored to have a coalition with her to ask the governor to please not veto this bill that the patients, the sick persons of New Hampshire, whether or not they are here today, we're here 30 or 40 years from now, will have this law in place where it protects those who need the most protection. I wanna say thank you very much for Jennifer for coming out and doing this. I wanna say thank you for Matt Simon for coming out and doing everything that he has done over the past three or four years on this particular issue. Matt has led the way consistently when it came to this. And without his experience and his insight working with the legislators every day, this would not have gotten this far. We as a community, however, need to step it up one more notch. We have two weeks before the, set, the, uh, the governor may veto this bill. Matt Simon. I work as a legislative analyst for the Marijuana Policy Project. 
I'll be very brief because I think we ought to light these candles before the wind kicks up again. <laughs> but thank you all for coming, for demonstrating that this issue does matter to a lot of people in New Hampshire. As you know, it'll be going to the governor's desk within the next couple weeks. We're within just a couple of Senate votes of having enough votes to override his veto, even if he does do what he says he will do, which is veto the bill. So we're working on the senators. Uh, next weekend, if you're available, we'll be putting together some teams and doing some grassroots stuff, particularly next Saturday. So see me after this if you want to sign up for that kind of duty. Uh, but it's very dynamic. There are a few senators that are still undecided, still weighing this issue, unlike, unfortunately, Governor Lynch, who hasn't been terribly receptive and hasn't been interested in meeting with people. The good news here is that we have a House and a Senate in New Hampshire that on this issue is representing the people of the state. We have a poll that says 71 percent of New Hampshire voters support this kind of law, and we have a House vote a couple weeks ago where 71 percent of the House votes in favor of this. So we have enough votes in the House to override the veto. We're within a couple votes of having the Senate votes to override the veto. So call your senators, email them, call them again, get your friends to do it too. It will make a difference, particularly on the few that we're working on. So see me afterwards if you want to join a team for next weekend. And when we light our candles, we'll be remembering this. But it really is about the patience. This isn't about any of us that are standing here, I don't think. I mean, there are a few patients that are here today, and thank you for coming, but most of them are not able enough, able-bodied enough to be with us this evening, and they're who this is really about. So, thank you. Yep. So, if everyone would like to uh, light their candle. Oh, Come on, now. I'm holding a candle. We have 24 senators, and we need 16 of them to vote in favor of an override. Depending on how the week goes, we may get commitments from senators. We've had a very dynamic process where senators have, you know, they're all no's until they're yeses. Mm -hmm. And some of them have been very open to learning more about this and they see the shifting tide. So, depending on whether or not we're able to get commitments this week, there are up to two or three districts that we might want to do some. You know, okay. some grassroots type activities to make sure that people are contacting their legislators and giving them ways to do that. And if, uh, assuming there are such uh, grassroots efforts next weekend, how would people get involved? How who do they? How do they contact? Who do they contact? My email address is m, as in Matt M Simon S I M O N at mpp dot org, and people are welcome to email me at any time. There's always something that can be done. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. In closing, I would just like to say thank you very much for coming out. Check out. Thank you again, and I really think that the more that each one of us individually can do on this, the better strides it'll make in, in the masses. So I encourage you to reach out to your friends and your family and your community to see how much support we can really draw for this bill. Because this is the real deal, and we're so close to making this happen, whether Lynch likes it or not. So thank you again for spending your evening with us.